S-500 Prometheus Russia's next-gen missile shield, an educational overview by Professor Rahul Jain, hash Professor Rahul Jain. In modern warfare, controlling the skies can decide the outcome of a conflict. Air defense systems have evolved rapidly to counter newer and faster threats, stealth aircraft, hypersonic missiles, and even low-orbit satellites. One of the most advanced systems developed for this purpose is the S-500 Prometheus, also known by its project name, 55R6M Triumphator M. The S-500 is a Russian surface-to-air and anti-ballistic missile system. It is not just an upgrade to previous platforms, it's a leap forward, designed to supplement the S-400 Triumph and A-235 missile systems. It forms the top layer of Russia's multi-tiered missile defense strategy. Let's break that down. The S-400 handles conventional aerial threats like aircraft and cruise missiles. The A-235 Nudol focuses on anti-ballistic missile roles, especially around Moscow. And the S-500 is designed to intercept advanced targets at much greater altitudes and ranges, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, hypersonic glide vehicles and low-Earth orbit satellites. The S-500 system was developed by Almaz Anti, a major player in Russian air defense technology. Its development timeline began in the early 2010s, with testing accelerating post-2018. By 2021, Russia began serial production and in 2022, deliveries to the armed forces were confirmed. As of 2025, the S-500 is now operationally deployed in limited numbers, primarily to protect critical assets and strategic regions. The system is composed of multiple elements, multifunction radar systems capable of tracking up to 10 targets simultaneously, including stealth and hypersonic threats. High-speed interceptor missiles believed to include the 77N6N and 77N6N1, which can travel at hypersonic speeds. A command post that integrates target acquisition, threat analysis and engagement protocols in real time. Here's what makes the S-500 different maximum interception range of approximately 600 kilometers for air-breathing targets. Altitude reach up to 200 kilometers which enables exo-atmospheric intercepts, meaning it can strike threats outside the Earth's atmosphere. It can potentially neutralize threats in space, offering limited anti-satellite capability. Let's quickly walk through its development timeline, the 2010s design and early prototypes, 2018 to 2020. Initial trials and live fire testing, 2021. Serial production begins 2022. Delivery to Russian air defense units and by 2025 operational deployment in selected military districts. While official deployment locations are classified, open source intelligence suggests initial positioning around Moscow, the Urals and possibly Kaliningrad. These areas cover key command and control infrastructure and serve as deterrents against Western long-range systems. So what does this mean for global defense dynamics? The S-500 is not just a national asset, it sends a clear strategic message. Russia is preparing for next-generation threats including hypersonic missiles, stealth aircraft and satellite warfare. It also raises questions about the future of arms control, as such systems blur the line between defensive shields and strategic offence. Developed by Almazante, intercepts ICBMs, hypersonics and possibly satellites. 600 km range and up to 200 km altitude. Operational since 2022 to 2023, part of Russia's multi-layered defense shield. As global military technology continues to advance, the S-500 stands as a symbol of a new era in strategic defense. Understanding such systems helps us appreciate the complexity of modern security challenges and the technology nations deploy to face them. To explore more cutting-edge defense technology, subscribe and follow for updates.